Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we just put up this video yesterday. Proof that the carry forward is a credit. So what I decided I was going to do is I was going to explain a little bit more in detail to those of you who have reported a bad debt deduction. You're going to speak with tax agents and they're going to tell you, that's impossible. You can't do that. That's not the way it's done. And you're going to say, excuse me, crackhead. Now, I know you, you've been doing this for years and I know you think you're the expert. But can I ask you a simple question? What's your question? Could you please tell me where in the code it says I can't do this? No, it's just not that it's in the code. You just can't do it that way. Okay, okay, I, I got you. And okay, so let's take it that it's not in the code, but I can't do it this way. Could you please tell me? Now, I, just, just a question. So please don't get offended by it. Could you please tell me why I can't do it that way? Because they say you can't do it that way. Oh, who is they? Who, who, who said this? Well, they, 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 the IRS says I can't do it this way. Uh, so the IRS is the law. The the IRS, they, 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 the law, right? So I got to follow what the IRS says, right? Well, yeah, yes, you got to follow what they say. Oh, okay, thank you. Now, look, I tell you what, you go ahead and you do the taxes the way I tell you to do it. And then let me accept the responsibility for anything that go wrong, okay? All right, because I, I can, I'll, I'll talk to them if they have any problems with this. So you go sit there while I explain to you how you're going to do my taxes, okay? Now, I'm paying you, right? So then you don't have no problem. You're not accepting no responsibility. You're not signing nothing. And I ain't going to tell nobody you did my taxes. I just need them done. All right, you just uh, arithmetic, okay? Arithmetic in accruelization. You're going to be accruelization in my tactics, okay? Accrual method, that's right. Now, look, what we're going to do is here is a copy of the receipt for the 1099s that are filed, A's and C's. Okay, they, they filed already. So the credits are already recorded with the IRS. Well, the deductions were recorded with the IRS, but because they're from a previous year, they are carried forward. And the government says, hey, if you're going to carry it forward, we're going to permit businesses, not common folk, businesses to carry their credits forward. Oh, God, because of that equal protection of law thing, we got to let people be able to do it too. Well, anyway, we're going to let y'all carry that junk forward, okay? That's what the IRS said. So I said, okay, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a accept your offer and I'm gonna carry my stuff forward. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and credit for doing so because you guys said I could do it. Thank you for giving me the full faith and credit of the United States government in this procedure. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna carry it forward. But you know what? Carry forwards are only considered credits. They are not considered deductions. Let's go ahead and let's see what the law says ladies and gentlemen gentlemen and ladies ladies and gents here is perplexity.com perplexity.com is going to search the whole of the internet for your answers and it's going to give you the top five answers and you can narrow your search to get a more definitive answer but perplexity is going to give you your answer so the first thing I did is I said a carry forward credit is indeed a tax credit that can be applied to a future tax year. Pay attention. When a tax deduction is carried forward, it is no longer considered a deduction, but rather a tax credit. So let's take this. Let's forget anything else that I put in perplexity because you see, I did the extended. Tax credits are deductions from a taxpayer's... Now, that's this, but we don't need that one. We need this one right here. When a tax deduction is carried forward, it is no longer considered a deduction, but rather a credit. We're going to click on this. This is going to take us to the IRS website. Okay? Deductions can reduce the amount of taxes you owe, blah, blah, blah. Credits can reduce the amount of taxes you owe or increase your tax refund. Certain credits can give you a refund, even if you don't owe any taxes. 
that's what I'm interested in. So let's talk about these deductions that are carried forward. Well, look at that. The only ones, they don't have nothing. So let's do, we, we got to search this page. So we got to go control C. And that's going to give us the search. Oh, not control C, control F. That's going to give us our search. C A R R Y F O R D. I put carry forward. It says there are no occurrences to carry forward in this document. So I step them away. There is no occurrence of either of the two in this document. But this is the only thing that talks about them carrying them forwards. Only thing that talks about the carry forwards. Let's do. We can't do deduction. We can do C R E D I T S. Well, there's a whole lot of that. A whole lots of it. So let's go ahead. Find credits and deductions for businesses. Ladies and gentlemen, do you guys want to find your credits and deductions? Because it's more than what you think. This is going to allow you to find all the credits that are available. Now, oh, no, no, no. There are hundreds of them. That's why businesses do so well. Because they find all kinds of deductions. So deducting business expenses let's go here oh and then research credits Woo we y'all just can go to town with research credits but understand something ladies and gentlemen we're gonna put back in perplexity we can go to this junk later we're gonna start a new thread that way the system doesn't recall any of the previous answers it gave us and then we're gonna control v the control button and the letter V at the same time that will paste in what we've copied and we hit enter. And when a tax deduction is carried forward, it is no longer considered a deduction, but rather a credit, a tax credit, a tax credit. Okay. What are the different type of tax deductions and a tax credit? Okay. Well, there for me too. We don't need the differences. How long can a tax deduction be carried forward? What are the benefits of carrying forward a deduction? Let's do what the benefits of carrying forward a deduction. I'm kind of curious in that one right there. What are the benefits? Carrying forward a tax deduction can provide benefits such as reducing taxable income for future years, offsetting profits, and taking advantage of unused tax, taking advantage of unused tax, taking advantage of unused tax credits. Carrying forward deductions can help a person take advantage of unused credits. How can you take advantage of unused tax credits with a deduction? That doesn't make any sense. I thought they were two different things. Ain't that a shame? So let's read this. The benefits of carrying forward a tax deduction include reducing the taxable income, offsetting gains and in income for future years. The strategy is used to reduce taxable income and minimize liability tax liability that is tax loss carry forward tax loss carry forward allows capital losses realized in the current year to be carried over to future years the irs allows the irs allows the irs allows the irs allows excuse me the law allow, no the irs no the law allow, no the irs the irs allows businesses to carry net operating losses forward 20 years to net against future profits and backwards two years for an immediate refund of prior taxes paid. Under a tax cut job act, farming losses may be carried back two years for an immediate refund prior taxes paid and carry forward indefinite, indefinite, indefinitely. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad I'm agriculture. And I live in an agricultural and residential community. For the most part, for the most, uh, for most types of contributions, taxpayers are allowed to carry forward a deduction uh, for up to five years. When one of these scenarios occurs, the taxpayer may be able to take a carry forward, carry over, applying some or all of the unused portion pay attention, of the credit or the deduction and claiming a net operating loss. Let me explain something. Y'all Y'all don't mind if I explain something? Ladies and gentlemen, once you carry it forward, it can't be a deduction anymore because a deduction may only be claimed in the year in which it becomes available. 
Watch this. A tax deduction may only be claimed in a year it becomes available. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. What that means, ladies and gentlemen, if the, uh-oh. Oh, okay, I was about to say. Whew, let's see. What that means is that if you have a tax deduction and you pay attention, it's still doing carry forward. So I got to do this again. If you have a tax deduction, you can only claim that tax deduction in the year the tax deduction was realized. So one second. A tax deduction may only be claimed in the year it was realized. Exclamation mark. Stop listening. Sorry, I have to turn this on, which is which is going to be a problem because I can't connect. I can't connect my headset because I started the video out without the headset. So that's going to cause a configuration issue and a video issue as well. OK, I thought I had it connected. I apologize. A tax deduction, pay attention, may only be claimed in the year it is realized. This applies to itemized deduction, standard deduction, gift and employee awards, bonuses, depreciation and related party losses and expenses. Ladies and gentlemen, a tax deduction may only be claimed in the year it was realized. You cannot claim a deduction next year for last year. So what does the government say? Oh, don't you dare worry about that, homie. No, well, you're going to get to carry that junk forward. Well, if I carry it forward, it can't be a deduction anymore because the tax deduction may only be claimed in the year it was realized. So if I carry it forward, oh, that means the government is giving me the credit. Yay! The reason why your tax preparers don't know this is because, pay attention, I don't want you to think that I'm being facetious. The reason why they don't know this is because they are not me. They don't think like I do. I use the law and I use the logic of the law to understand the law. Can nobody fault me for that? Because the scriptures, they try to base their laws on scripture. Well, the Bible is logical. When the Bible says you must not do something, there is no loophole. Well, when man says you must not do something, they create a loophole. Remember, the law doesn't say you get to carry it forward. The IRS allows businesses and other individuals to carry forward a deduction. Well, the moment you allow me to carry forward the deduction, you can't put a restriction on it. You can't create a new definition because there's no definition for a carry forward deduction in the code. Taxpayers can choose either to I the itemized deduction or the standard deduction when following their taxes. However, any refund received by the taxpayer from the state in previous years must be counted as income if they itemize deductions in the previous year. Excuse me? If the state gives me a refund, that's not income. They're paying me back. That's why they're refunding me. You can't count the fact that I overpaid as income. You must be out of your mother... <sighs> I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all need to understand, this is what they're doing to people all the time. You cannot penalize me for a refund. That's my money. And if I'm doing a deduction, you better believe that's my right to write that junk off. Okay, you don't get to penalize me for a deduction. Now, hold on. Additionally, prepaid state and local income tax for next year is not deductible on current year's taxes. Now, that's obvious. How can I get prepaid taxes and get a deduction prepaid as well when I don't have the deductions claimed for that following year because it hasn't happened yet? Lord have mercy. <coughs> Do you understand? That makes sense. If it doesn't make logic, y'all, it don't make sense. So we don't need to read this junk right here. What you need to understand is a tax deduction may only be claimed in the year it was realized. Let's click on this one. 
This is the rule. Okay? This is the rule. Hold on. Let's do F and I put the word claimed. Show expenses being claimed by, okay. Yeah, we got it right. Y-E-A-R. In the year. Okay. Let's get rid of the year. We're going to get rid of N. We put in the year. Uh-oh, it ain't even let me do year. I mean, the year. No, we got tons of years here. Hmm. That's not the year we're looking for, Chief. That's not the one I'm looking for, Chief. Hey, no, dang, hey. Okay. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Uh, no, let's do deduction, D-E-D-U-C-T-I-O-N. It don't let me do that either. Let's do deduction. There are 17. Only one of corresponding recognized income is made by related. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Uh, discuss income, matching income and deductions for transactions. I don't see anything deductible under allowable deductions are not included in the pays income because of the method of accounting. This section provides that a taxpayer will be denied a deduction of expenses and interest payable to a related party, which are otherwise deductible under that. Uh -huh. Now let's continue. And if these conditions exist, a deduction of expenses occurs in a accrual method. The corporation has a accrued, accrued a deduction management unpaid. See, this doesn't give me the exact language that in the year it was realized. So I need the specific. Oh. Whew. Let me do this so that you guys understand it. Oh, by the way, the IRS interprets the code. The IRS doesn't write the code. Okay, you got to go to one of them singers. I write the code that makes the whole world sing. You got to go to one of them people to find out what the code means because the IRS doesn't write the code. Okay, so what we need. Standard deductions is a preset amount that you are allowed to deduct from your taxable income in here. The amount, uh, nope, we need gains, capital gains, until the tax year it actually pays. Okay, Corp C's may not deduct the $22,000 until the tax year it, is actu it actually pays. Okay, you all get standard deductions for your sole proprietorships. Okay, so let's do that because I'm interested in this for you all. Because remember, you're filing as a sole proprietor. Wake up. What is the standard deduction for a sole proprietorship regarding taxes and allowable expenses? Stop listening. $12,400. That is the poverty line, ladies and gentlemen. As a sole proprietor, pay attention. You get to write off $12,400. Why aren't you doing your taxes as a sole proprietor? Huh? Why aren't you doing your taxes as a sole proprietor? You get to write off $12,400. And y'all ain't been doing that because you've been doing your taxes as an individual. When people keep telling you, you need to be doing it as a business, but you're not listening. Hold on, got one more thing. We're gonna do the detailed one. And y'all go do the same thing, exactly what I'm doing. Y'all do the same thing. Told you it's gonna give you, that's why we're, and look, it tells you, you must complete a Schedule C, profit and loss from a business, sole proprietor, and attach it to your 1040 and submit it. But guess what? None of your tax agents are telling you this because those intelligent people don't think like I do. I use the code. Now, hold on. Watch this. 
what are the standard tax deductions for a sole proprietorship? Question mark. Stop listening. We want to know what are the standard deductions because we know $12,400 is not the limit, ladies and gentlemen. That's not the limit. There are other deductions, client entertainment, transportation, insurance fees, banking, uh, the banking fees, okay? Uh, office space, man, you use part of your home to do your business. Oh, now they, they try to say there are limits on that, but you go ahead and you better write that junk off. Self-employment tax, self-employment tax deduction, startup and organizational costs tax deduction, home office deduction, internet and phone bill deduction, health insurance premium deduction, meals deduction, oh, and other everyday expenses such as rents and utilities can be deducted. Somebody has been telling you this repeatedly. And nobody wants to listen because they think that it's just a bunch of cob gobbledygook. I can show you people the law. I can show you people stuff like this where you can go and find it for yourself. You can go and search it for yourself. I can show it to you and provide the information and still people contact me asking me, well, how do I do this and how do I do that? Even though I show it to you, you don't believe it. People have received over, some people have received $10 million in, now of course we called it tax credits because it was from a previous year. So when you carry it forward, it becomes a credit. It's no longer a deduction. So you don't have to, once it's carried forward, you don't have to treat it as a deduction. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 hold on. Watch this. We're going to do that, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to ask that question. This is perplexity.ai, perplexity.ai. Hold on. Once a deduction is carried forward, it is no longer treated as a deduction, but as a tax credit. Stop listening. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, they just gave us the section that says this. Again, you need to understand. You need to understand. A deduction that is carried forward is no longer treated as a deduction, but as a tax credit. So when you hear me saying tax credit, Please understand, that's what I'm referring to. But because many of you didn't understand this, because here I was thinking that you would do your own research. Shame, shame, shame. Here I was thinking you would do your own research. So let's get this done so that you all can see. We're going to click detail. Once a deduction is carried forward, it is no longer treated as a deduction, but as a tax credit. This means that the amount of the deduction can be used to reduce the taxpayer's actual U.S. tax on a dollar-for-dollar -dollar basis. The IRS, <coughs> excuse me, the IRS, <coughs> mm. Whew. man, I'm so glad they allow it because they're not the government. The IRS allows the taxpayer to carry the credit backwards to their prior tax return and then forward to future tax return. Pay attention. The ability to carry back or carry forward an unused tax is restricted by the amount of the excess limit. Where is it restricted at? Where, where, where's the law? We're going to click on number five because I'm interested to see the law that says you're restricted from doing this. Uh, come on now. Hold on. Come on. Where where we at? Where the law? Look, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking at an explanation, but I don't see no code. I see a form, but I don't see no code. Where's the code? Foreign tax credit. Okay, I see examples. I see form. Oh, can be complex. That isn't that what the AI system always say can be complex. But where is because it can't be complex for the American taxpayer? Because it must be simple enough that a caveman can do it. 
Well, look at that. They gave us no law. Not a single law is put here. Not even the code was put here. The junk they're relying on. Pay attention. Where is the code? Yeah, they have a form. They have a publication. But where is the law? Where is the code? Where's the statute at large? Where's the congressional record? Where is the support of the claim that it cannot be done? It ain't here because it's all presumption, people. It's all presumption. It ain't there. You're not going to find it. Let's go back here. You're not going to find it. Uh-oh. I want to get rid of publication. I don't need publication. Yeah, I'll, I'll download publication 535. All right. So I want you all to understand when a tax credit occurs is during the carry forward because it's not the IRS it's the government of the United States that allows you to carry forward that deduction but because Congress has not defined what a carry forward deduction is it can only be defined as a carry forward credit because that's the only thing a carry forward is pay attention Wake up. The law does not define a carry forward tax deduction. Question mark. Stop listening. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <sighs> the law does not define a carry forward tax deduction specifically. But it does allow, excuse me, the law does not define a carry forward deduction. Okay, so then a carry forward can only be a credit as we learned at the very beginning. This is known as a loss carry forward, known as a loss carry forward. Where is it in the law? And most taxpayers no longer have the option to carry back the net operating losses. Uh -uh, if you are a business, you can carry back a net operating loss so that you can receive the refund for the taxes paid for the prior year. Hello? Anybody there? So, I hope y'all are paying attention. Those of you who don't know how to file your taxes, this is the beginning. This is tax season. This is the beginning. Now look, I have a lot of work I have to get done. Uh, my work is piling up, but I'm still gonna try to take care of y'alls while I'm doing this. The last video that was so short, well, this is the continuation of that video because all of my videos are secessional. Okay, one after the other. So what y'all's gonna have to do is y'all are gonna have to do your research, but you're gonna have to get an understanding of this. Yes, I know it's foreign. I know it is gobbledygook to you, but it doesn't matter. Somebody else gonna come and say, no, you can't do that because of this and because of that. No, 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 no. That applies to that and this applies to that, but that doesn't apply to this and neither does this apply to this. We're talking about something specifically. Pay attention. If there is no definition in law for a carry forward deduction, that means it's not defined. That means it's user defined. As long as Congress allows it, guess what? A carry forward deduction amounts to a credit. There is no such thing as a carry forward deduction in the tax code. But since it's allowed, it can only be referred to as a credit because that means the government is allowing you to carry it forward, which means the government is crediting it. Okay. Hold on, let's do this. Wake up. How do I receive a refund from a carry forward tax credit? Comma. And where on the schedule C would I indicate such? Question mark. Stop listening. Oh, you guys see how I'm asking it a question? See, that's perplexity.com. That's See, it says, ask anything. So it's designed for you to ask your questions. So why don't you start using perplexity.ai? I said .com a second ago, but it's perplexity.ai. Why don't you start using perplexity.ai for what it is for? It searches all of the internet. Now, sometimes it does get things wrong. So that's why you have to put the question in a second time in a different format, which is what I've been doing this whole time. 
you may not have noticed that, but that's what I've been doing. I've been asking the same question twice. So watch this. To receive a refund from the carry forward tax credit, you must file the income tax return that is required by the required due date. Depending on the state, you may need to complete a Schedule C form or a Schedule CT-46 claim form investment tax credit. The instructions for completing this form, blah, 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 and it lists the different states. Now we want the detailed list or the detailed explanation. Uh, you must follow the Schedule C, the relevant authority, depending on the state, blah, blah, blah. The U.S., the net operating loss carry forward is calculated on uh, one internal revenue code. And that operating loss is not required, does not require this duck, blah, 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 blah. However, all federal schedules must be attached to the return in order to claim that operating loss deductions. Now, we said credit. It said deductions. Okay? We're asking how do I receive a carry-forward tax credit a refund from a carry forward tax credit. So let's take this question again, because I put Schedule C. Carry forward tax credit rules, the, 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 how to claim a carry forward tax credit. I want a refund, I don't want to claim it. But maybe you guys need to do your research on how to claim a carry forward tax credit, because that's what we're doing. Receive a refund from a carry forward tax credit. You must file income tax return by the due date, depending on the type of credit. Let's see if it does the deduction. You may need to file Form 1116. You may need to file Form 116, but that's in claiming a foreign tax credit. However, if claiming a sales tax credit, you may need to apply for a refund. Additionally, any overpayment due the maximum tax credit must be attributed to net operating losses in order for a refund claim, net operating losses, NOLs, in order for a refund claim to be valid. Finally, if claiming a pass-through entity elects taxes you may need to apply for emergency tax relief oh there's a lot of maybes <sighs> so ladies and gentlemen again do not think that any tax credit you receive is just some gobbledygook i spoke with someone yesterday that said that they spoke with their tax agent who contacted the irs a friend they had at the IRS, and they said it appears to be fraudulent. So the person asked them, what do you mean it appears to be fraudulent? Is it fraudulent or is it not fraudulent? Well, it, it's not that it, it, well, it doesn't even have a signature. What are you talking about? There's a notary there. How dare you say that it doesn't have a, a, sig a signature? What do you think the notary is notarizing? You think the notary is notarizing the document? No, the notary is notarizing the signature. See, they were just coming up with excuses. Telling somebody, there you go, telling me now again. There you go. There you go. Okay? That's what they do, people. They'll just tell you no, and you will walk away with that no. But the person who had that experience had the wherewithal to question them on their questioning him. So, ladies and gentlemen, yes. They're gonna, it's a lot of heat gonna come my way because I'm sitting up here showing you guys these little holes in the loops. But the hole is big enough for all of us to jump through. So let's jump through this loophole since there is no definition for a carry forward deduction. It can only be construed as a credit. Watch this. Because there is no definition for a carry forward deduction comma once carry forward it can only be construed as a credit authorized by the government exclamation mark stop listening did you hear my definitive statement let's see if it agrees with the rest of the internet <sighs> carry forward tax credit is a provision of tax law that allows a taxpayer to apply some unused deductions, credits, and losses to future years. It can include residential, but that's not what I asked. So let's do that again. We're going to do a more. A tax loss carry forward is a provision of tax law, taxpayer, blah, 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 future taxpayer to offset the provision. Uh, businesses advantages loss unused because the operating losses or IRS impose a limit on how much blah, blah, blah. Prior to the tax cut drawback, 2000 allowed businesses to carry nary operating losses forward 20 years and back two years with no dollar limitation up to the amount uh, carry forward. 
The credit carry over is when an unused portion of an unrefundable credit is carried over to the next year. Ladies and gentlemen, they just said non-refundable credit. That's a deduction. Okay? So it is called a credit when you carry it over to the next year. This allows taxpayers to use credits that they were unable to use in their current tax return to apply them to future tax liabilities. For example, deductions and credits that can be carried forward include charitable contributions, residential energy efficiency, property credits, and research and development tax credits. Ta-da! Okay. So there you go. Now, wait, how to use a carry forward tax credit? Ooh-wee, how to use it? Mama, I've been wondering how to use it all this time to apply for a carry forward tax credit that can take advantage of unused tax credits from the current year and the plan of the future tax year to include deduction credit losses, foreign taxes paid. No, that's not enough. You just said the same thing you just said before. So you got to say something different. To apply to carry forward tax credit, businesses must use the uh, first perform of R&D, which is research and development tax credit study, and claim the R&D uh, tax credit filing the 3800. And the carry forward credits must then be reduced by any amount that could have been claimed in the prior years carry for a period of oil and gas production from margin wells uh, five years uh, businesses can offset their tax liability who cares about margin wells and oil and oil and the production please sit, be quiet because i can produce oil my skin produces oil naturally i'm a black person and, and, and gas man that's a natural thing anyway so it's natural gas so there you go i can write that book off too mother Okay, anyway, I'll set their tax liability future year by carrying it forward and the unused portion of the credit deduction. It's important to note that the carry forward losses and credits and deductions are complex and you should use with caution. Why do I need to be cautious about it? You said I could do it. I know I could do it. So I was going to do it. Come on and do it. Do it. Do it till you're satisfied. Whatever it is. Tax credits is what it is, mother. Okay. <sighs> Do we have a much better understanding of this now? Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of this video, we're not going to go past 40 minutes. I didn't extend, uh, intend to go past 30 minutes, but we've done that. But at the end of this video, let me say something. I don't know why I know what I know. I have not researched any of this stuff, even prior to looking this stuff up yesterday and asking this idiot, hold on, he's going to show his face now, a carry forward is indeed blah, 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 before asking this idiot, because it is an idiot, they've rechanged the system, and now they want to charge because of Bing, and, you know, well, because they, they made a, an agreement with Bing, so they want to get their money. Okay, rules are available in the United States. Uh-oh. Oh, pay attention. Uh, G GPT Plus is available. They want $20 a month, y'all. And they say you'll get faster response time, general access to chat GPT, even during peak times, and prior access to new, priority access to new features and improvements. Really? So I'll get the same thing? Without the hour wait? If I ask too many questions? Nah, I'd rather stick to what I got, G pay you $20 a month for this stupid thing not giving me the answers I asked for, stupid mother. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. But the questions that I asked the system, I didn't know the answers for certain because I'd never looked it up before. But when I looked it up, oh, by the way, this uh, particular extension, 535 different prompts that I can use in using ChatGPT. The world will never be the same. The internet will never be the same. Y'all need to get on the bandwagon because if you don't get on this bandwagon now, you're going to be lost three months from now. This is changing rapidly and you're going to have to change with it. This is designed to help you move forward, people. And no, I'm not paying $20 a month for ChatGPT. Well, they could raise their prices. Well, who told them to set the price at $20 a month? Who can? Wh what common folk can play, pay $20 a month just for using ChatGPT? Okay, when you don't get access to everything you need, it won't let you just straight out produce a motion because a second that emo anyway, it wants to interfere. So no, it's not worth it to me. You should use Bing because Bing you don't have to pay for. And it's the same thing! I apologize. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a good day. And I hope everything goes well with you. Happy tax season! Bye-bye! Gotta go. Take care of yourselves.